The government of the APC is now about uh, eight months in office, and uh, Nigerians are growing in a thousand four hundred to a dollar. Pounds is about a thousand seven hundred and forty naira. Fuel is still being sold uh, for about six hundred and fifty to seven hundred, depending on location. Criminality has taken over Abuja, you know, kidnapping everywhere and criminalities has become the order of the day. What do you think is happening in Nigeria? Are those who have won the election not able and capable to govern? Is your party position or has it changed? And what is your party's position and perception about this government? Well, uh, my heart, first and foremost, goes to all the people that Nigeria has happened to, all the people that uh, have experienced the negative of bad governance that, uh, that this government have uh, come with. The truth is, was that uh, from day one, we never expected this government to uh, do anything different because uh, in some of their campaigns, they said they will continue from where uh, Muhammad Buhari we stopped. President stopped. And we knew what Muhammad Buhari did. So for them to continue, number one, from where Muhammad Buhari stopped, it means that at the initial, we are not even expecting anything good from this government. However, it's unfortunate that within the past eight months, Nigeria have experienced the worst economic chaos. Um, it's unfortunate that within the past eight months, a chief of staff, in a government was approving $3 billion for consultancy from COVID-19 fund. These are funds given to Nigeria by international donors. Instead of them to use it to enhance the lives of ordinary Nigerians, they kept it and they are siphoning it by telling us they are consulting people that will do a register for the four masses. This uh, is so pathetic. This is the same government that promised to manage insecurity. Now, the state, the seat of power, the federal capital territory, is no longer safe. Recently, people were kidnapped in their homes, in their estates, even in a military estate in, the, in some part of Abuja, people were kidnapped. You can no longer move around Abuja with peace of mind because you don't know the next person in the next car who he is. And, um, and I don't see any end to this because there is no strong position of the people in government to say this must stop. So I think um, it's only God, you know, in Nigeria and Africa, we're always saying God, 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 God. But I feel that the problem of the nation is uh, what leaders willfully can help in coming. For example, it is a simple economic policy that uh, these guys were nonchalant to it that have made dollar to be about over close to 1,400 per dollar. It is their nonchalancy in taking some economic steps. For example, a country that is not producing anything you say refinery will work, it's not working, we've not seen it. You are borrowing to service debt. You are borrowing to buy cars for yourselves. You are borrowing to travel for international conferences and summits. You are borrowing not for capital projects, but for peripherals, for optics. You know, it's unfortunate. But personally, the Labour Party, as a national leader, I never expected this government to do anything good. The hunger in the land has increased. That is where Buhari stopped, because there were hunger during Buhari. So they said they will continue. So the hunger has increased. The dollar, the Naira, dollar has been rising. Pounds has been rising. Insecurity has been rising. They have just continued where Buhari stopped. So congratulations to them for this level of mismanagement, for this level of... Uh, look at uh, uh, the FCT, for example. The man manning FCT, we don't even know 
his political ideology. We don't even know if he's still the governor of uh, River State or he's the minister of FCT. Nobody can tell. You see, he's neither here or there. So even FCT is unsafe because of his instability <laughs> politically. As a political leader, he's not stable politically. We don't know the political party he belongs to. Even if he is still in PDP, but the APC felt that he is the savior of Nigeria, that they can appoint him to bring solution to people of FCT. Where are we right now? We are not holding him accountable. If you ask him, he will say he's just a few months into the position that he needs to be left to settle down. How long will it take this government to settle down? So, for me, the government of APC has not done anything. They just said they will pay poor people 25,000 25, naira. The humanitarian ministry that is supposed to handle that have already siphoned billions even before they pay 25,000 naira to households. They've already siphoned billions to consult before. They, so you consult before you pay poor people. But you will not consult before you approve 160 something million for a SUV vehicle. It's quite unfortunate. No. Yeah, you you know, you obviously made it very clear that uh, the APC led government has failed Nigerians. Many wouldn't argue. You know, Labour Party as the lead opposition now, that's what many people believe. Uh, many people do not count PDP as a party anymore. Um, because um you know, in, in the minds of many Nigerians, they believe that PDP has overstated its usefulness. However, so forcefully you said that the party APC is not doing well and has not done Nigeria well. Why is the opposition also not highlighting this and blowing it up so that Nigerians would also see them as um, kind of uh, a party to provide succor? But that appears not to be happening. Well, I, I think um, the Labour Party as a political party has been trying their best. You need to understand this, that Labour Party has not been in power. And uh, opposition requires funding. Whether you like it or not, to be a strong opposition, you require some level of funding. Because you have to be in the media. We are talking about Nigerian media that will not pay you for free. Mas, only the data that Indian media is using is, is it one naira? Your coverage, to service your coverage and your management and to pay your staffs that does your editing and everything, is it one naira? So you spend money for media. So Labour Party is not in power. So we are trying our best with the little resources here and there that we have. But I can assure you that everything that has gone wrong in this government, Labour Party have always brought it to the fore. All their policies that are unethical, that are inhuman, that undemocratic, Labour Party have always pointed it out. The truth may not may be that maybe it's not being seen internationally. It's not widespread because of little coverage of the media. But the truth is that there is nothing this government have done wrongly that Labour Party has not come out to put their voice on it. Remember that when they say they are giving senators and House of Rep members 160 million for SUVs, the Labour Party was the first to ask why, where is the money? We are talking about, you just remove fuel subsidy, you are, people are crying that fuel uh, prices have increased. In a country that is a, a job to be sixth largest oil exporter in the world, that price, pump price is increasing, no salary increase, no the same salary pattern, and you are increasing, you remove fair subsidy into the pocket of individuals. So Labour Party have criticized all these things that uh, this government is doing. Granted. So the, the, the truth is that we may not have the, the resources that we need to push it further. <laughs>